not just today, but the last three or four games. Have you really seen signs of encouragement with one eye on next season? Absolutely. Um, I think you know, obviously the six loans will go back, um, and you know there'll be other business that we would like to do. Um, we we obviously have to see in situations in terms of where we're at, and and um, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. We've started planning already. We look at players. We know who we want to bring in the building, um, and uh, the supporters will be excited in terms of what we're looking to do and and where we're going to go forward with. How, how extensive do you expect the sort of a rebuild, if, if if you will, is going to be this summer? Are you expecting a lot of incomings and outgoings? Yeah, we have to pick the right players. Um, we'll only bring players in that we believe is going to help the group, going to improve the football club um, and going to add value to the football club. So we're not just going to sign players for the sake of signing players. We'll bring good players into it, fit in the way we want to play. Um, but they also have to fit into the dressing room and, and how what we expect from the culture and the, the group. So... Um, there's a lot that goes on to it. Uh, we have targets, um, and you know the club are, are uh, know what we want to do. And listen, that's the exciting part now is that you know getting it over line and, and building for next season. Part of the the squad you've got at the moment. To what extent are you confident of keeping most of these players together? We will look at it, um, and um, yeah, absolutely, we want to keep us uh, keep the, the squad together. Um, I said before, for since we come in uh, the start of January, the, these lads have given us everything. Um, and unfortunately, we fell short, but the application, there's a togetherness. You've seen that with the supporters. You know, we've just been relegated and they're staying behind, clapping the supporters. That doesn't happen at, at many football clubs. They appreciate what they've done. Um, and I think they've got a togetherness and I think they've got a, a connection again with the supporters. And that's important. And, um, you know, whatever club, whatever squad and players we put in next year, there'll be a togetherness. We'll be in it together. And there'll be a, a right good feel factor around this football club going forward. Since you came to the club, you've played 23 league games, as of course Fleetwood had done prior to your arrival here. You've won more, you've drawn loss, you've scored more, you've conceded fewer and you've uh, secured more points. In terms of next season, just how confident are you taking that momentum into the season that you can be really competitive in League We have two? to be competitive, we have to be, we have to be aggressive, we have to, to show quality in the league. Um, you know, that's, we, we, we come in to, to improve the team, to pr improve morale, improve the connection with supporters which ultimately they're the, the, the mainstay of this, this football club, the supporters and um, we've managed to do that um, and I'm really proud that I'm the head coach but a lot of a lot of hard work's gone out with my staff and, and, and obviously we're going to lose a couple of staff members as well which is going to be tough but we've got replacements already lined up and we, we're ready to go and we're, we're excited for next season. Based on what you've seen this season, which, which are the key areas that you need to improve upon in order to be Well, we've shipped too many goals, haven't we? We've shipped too many goals, so that's it. We have to start defensively. Um, and we'll look at trying to get some, some defenders in the building. That front four or five that we have um, in the building we'll, you know, can definitely score goals in League Two. Um, but again, we'll see what, what becomes available in the market, what quality we can bring in, what good players, good people, good human beings will will be, be in the football club because that's important. Not just good football players, good people as well. And um, we want to build a culture that's uh, a special culture. And you've seen that there's, there's a good group there. Um, unfortunately, things have to, to change and, and, and that's what happens when relegation um, happens. But, you know, we're ready and we'll be, we'll be excited with, with new players coming in. Recruitment's one aspect over the summer. To what extent have you begun to prepare for League Two? Was there a plan A and a plan B in terms of whether you were relegated or not? No, because we the players that we 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 looking at will will be able to play in League One. So we're trying to to bring players in that will play League One. We we're not going to go and sit in League Two and just be mid table. We're going to, trying to be competitive, and um, you know that's our idea is to bring players in that are capable of playing League One as well. Because there's no point of just building for one season. You have to build for the future. Um, you know, there's uh, some good players in the academy as well, and and they will come part of the pre-season um, as well. But ultimately, it's done to the players next season what what energy and what you know excitement they come and bring to us, and you know it's done to them to to be in that first team sheet on the the 10th of August. A full debut this afternoon for uh, David Harrington in goal. Yeah. And firstly, what was the thinking behind that, and and how impressed were you with his performance? I thought he was. I thought he was excellent. I thought he commanded the box well. I thought he showed real presence, real quality. Unfortunately for him, it's been a tough couple of years being in the club, injuries and shoulder injuries. But you know he's he's come in there today and, and showed a, a, a hunger and a desire to to make that 
um, statement for next season. Again, all the goalkeepers will be what we have in the building will be be here, and you know it's up to them to to show us as a staff and and um, you know as a group that they want to be here fighting for that number one jersey, and, and we'll see where we're at. But you know he's um, he's come in, he's done really well, and and that's it's good to see him get his first first game for Fleetwood. And Jay Lynch will be part of that battle for absolutely, first absolutely. Yeah. He's yeah. an experienced goalkeeper. He's done brilliant for me. Um, unfortunately, he's, he was better out today with an injury, um, but he's, he'll be part of my plans. He's um, you know I know him well. He's done brilliant for us, and um, you know we know that these three goalkeepers are, are very good goalkeepers, and they'll come back in, in terrific shape, ready to push, and, and we'll see where we're at for the for the start of the season. From a personal perspective, your first job in management, it's been an intense period. What What's the plan now? Do you take a couple of weeks off before no, you start again? No, I'm back in Monday. We'll have a few meetings with the players to tell them what we decide for next season. Um, and no, I, we'll, we'll, I'll be in for the next couple of weeks in terms of getting recruitment, getting players, organising. We'll have a little bit of work done to the training ground that we're trying to change and, and different aspects of the training ground. Um, so... We're, we're in a good place um, and then maybe later at the end of the month I'm able to get a couple of, couple of weeks, 10 days with my family just to, to relax and, um, and and think about family time because it's been tough three months away, you know, doing trips and everything but, but listen, that's what I signed up for and I'm, I'm excited, I'm disappointed about the season but I'm excited for the future. I can feel the enthusiasm coming from you, it can next season not come quick enough in a way? Um, no, I think it's important that we reset and we, we re-evaluate where we're at as a football club. Not just the, the the first team, but I think from the top to the bottom. It's been a tough year for the football club, on and off the pitch. Um, and it's and it's a reset for us as a football club in terms of how we work and what we do. Um, and we'll see what that brings in the, the next couple of weeks. Some good news that will be coming in the next couple of weeks for us. Um, and we're excited with that. So we'll see, see where we go. But, you know, Fleetwood is a, a club that, that I'm excited to be at, and um, you know I'm really excited about the future because, you know, with with what we plan and what we're looking to do, um, the supporters will be excited as well.